Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Owen Fox and today I joyfully, blissfully <laughs> invite you to join me up the tree where I'm at. And uh, this video is a from my friend called May. Beautiful May in England. And it's for everybody who's watching. So thanks for joining me. Today's video is about how to have a stronger sense of self. Self-autonomy, self-government, self confidence, self-empowerment, self-worth. Lots of love to you all watching, lots of love to you May, lots of love to you all, all shining your light and love to, our, to me and everyone else in the world. <laughs> yay! Yippee yippee yay! <laughs> so beautiful up this tree. Oh my god, I can't get over it. It distracted me from my video. Okay, for real though, let's get on with it. I've been told I have a strong sense of self and I, as a life number one, I, I do, I'm a self-governing um, leader, typically, type of role, who likes to be self-employed instead of being beneath anyone. I don't usually get on with institutions, uh, I don't particularly like, like the modern institutions of today's world, I don't resonate with the teaching system, that's typical, the typical teaching system. So I'm a confident person, so how to get a sense of self-worth? When you don't have a sense of self-worth, by the way, you're more like you're more easily influenced by people. You're more swayed by the opinions and the, the words of other people around you. You're more likely to, to fall off your center and to fall off your plan or your true wish. And you're more likely to, to do what other people want you to do. You're basically more likely to be a people's pleaser, no doubt. Um, and you're going to be less solid and strong on your own. You're going to be less of a rock. You're going to feel more vulnerable um, to make your own decisions and choices. And the, the faith and confidence that what you choose for yourself is right for you also. So, in my own personal life, for example, I believe in me. I trust myself. I know I make mistakes, of course, everybody does. But I also believe that if I do make mistakes, I'll learn from them and I'll become a better person as a result. So I, I, I've put up boundaries and I have a perfect relationship with everyone in my life. There's nobody I have a grudge against or hold ill feelings towards. I have no regrets from the things that I have done or haven't done in my own life. And I have no regrets for what's happened to me in my life through other people or just generally in life whatsoever. So. I'm not holding on to a whole lot of baggage. I don't have a big heavy burden or weight on my shoulders or like ball and chain dragging from behind me, my ankles. So one of the ways I have found a strong sense of self in my life is by facing my fears and putting up boundaries of people in my life who've been mistreating me, such as brothers, sisters, parents, friends, family, and other people in my life, such as colleagues or strangers, especially people who I know. Strangers don't usually do stuff to you, and you're not really in a position to teach them a lesson either. But if someone is in your life ongoingly and they're power tripping over you, or they're being manipulative and controlling, or narcissistic, or self absorbed, um, selfish, these are the people who are ongoingly having a negative effect on us. We want to teach them boundaries or get out of their life. We either want to leave their life or teach them to treat us better with the clause that they don't treat us better, we're going to kick them out of our life or we're going to leave their life. So this is not actually being mean. It is being intolerant, which is a fantastic form of intolerance. It's being intolerant with negative energy and it's born out of self-love and self-respect, self-worth, self-dignity and healthy boundaries. That's what it's called. So... This is something I've been learning in my life this year and more lately in recent times gone by also. To, to have, when you, the more you have self-respect, worth and dignity, the more you'll want to only allow reciprocating energy into your life. So if you're being loving and kind and friendly and generous, like most empathic people are, because we have compassion, because we care and feel other people's pain, then you, we need to allow equal love and reciprocation and kindness towards us because what happens so much is we are givers, these people I'm describing, myself, my mom, my, a lot of people I know who are close to me, 
but we get screwed over by narcissists and self-absorbed selfish people so you can go too far with compassion and understanding and peace you don't want to be kind you want to be self-loving from self-love and healthy boundaries you'll naturally be kind within a healthy limit where you're not abused disrespected and taken advantage of so how to have a stronger sense of self you reflect on your own worth as a human being as a divine soul you acknowledge and affirm your goodness your deservingness you look at your life you investigate your life your relationships with people where you are going wrong or amiss where you are mistreat where you're allowing yourself to be mistreated take responsibility you're allowing it it's not you're not a victim of them doing it to you if you can get to this place watching this video you are in a conscious enough mode where you can say i am not 100 percent unconscious i know i am allowing this so you you do a whole lot of reflection and evaluation of your life okay and you change things within yourself you change your thoughts about yourself you change the relationship you have with yourself you change the relationship and the words and the behavioral patterns you have with other people and also your partner your parents your brothers and sisters you put up healthy boundaries and you stick by your guns you don't let yourself be abused or swayed by negative energies from people you will not let them talk you out of it in other words, in other words is what I'm saying trust yourself believe in your own ability to make decisions for yourself and if you need to make a new decision because everything changes including plans and our decisions we can make a new plan and a new decision in the next minute the next hour the next day the next week so life is a continuous stream of flow it's it's always this moment by the next moment by the next moment we have to give ourselves the freedom to change our mind as well as other people so to have a stronger sense of self you also need to know know yourself know what you want what you like what you love what you will tolerate and what you will not tolerate so i'm a very tolerant person generally in life like i'm a compassionate understanding caring loving empathic kind nurturing gorgeous beautiful being i swear to god i am and we all are essentially only some of us have accessed this point more and some of us have accessed it less through healing and letting go of the blockages that get in the way of connecting to our higher self so the biggest block to connecting with our higher self is our thoughts and our belief systems they're all the same thing basically speaking daily thoughts and belief systems so you have to become aware of your thoughts and the thoughts that are pinching you off from your higher self thoughts such as such as i'm the victim they don't deserve it they're horrible people um i'm not worthy i'm not good enough um maybe even i'm not ready yet but so you know switch it P people are good enough they're lovely i'm loving we're all worthy we're all beautiful we're all gorgeous but that doesn't mean we we, we also like we need to separate someone as a person being not being lovely but their behavior being shitty or nasty or bad that's a big difference behaviors come and go they change they can adapt they can improve who you are as a person is always going to be a being of love and light good innocent child deep at heart <laughs> ah, breathe in this beautiful fresh air beautiful prana chi life force Take a breath, everybody. Feel your presence, your body, your being. <sighs> so part of also having a stronger sense of self is to know that you, you, your rights, like you have a right to be treated well. You have a right for peace. It's an essential intrinsic part of who you are as a holy soul. A divine being of light you have a right for like <laughs> you have a right to be yourself you have a right to your opinion as and you have a right to speak 
you have a right to, to want to live in peace and to try and live in peace and to do what you want to do, not what other people tell you to do or society forces or pressurizes you to do. So part of all of this is about saying no to the rubbish and the bullshit and start saying yes to yourself. Self-love, self-acceptance, self-nurture, self-care. Physically, diet, sleep, rest, drink, food, brushing your teeth, skin brushing, oil pulling, fasting, herbs, superfoods, if you feel like it. You know, I don't have to do all these things and not everyone agrees with all this sort of stuff. Urine therapy, barefoot walking, getting the sun on your solar panel skin, um, touching nature, walking in nature, being in the tree, climbing tree, being playful, being like a childlike again, having fun, letting loose, like stepping out of your comfort zone, doing something exciting, being adventurous, being playful, accessing your inner child, because our child is who we are at the deepest level, along with the divinity that we are within ourselves. So what I see in most human beings is we're disconnected deeply from fun, play, laughter and jokingness and goofing around, being silly, humor, being silly, playing, interacting with our, the animals, the trees, the other people, touching. We're disconnected physically from other human, human people. And as a result of not getting enough non-sexual physical in intimacy that's very healthy and nurturing to every human being, basically, we, we think we have to get it from another a relationship that's romantic and sexually because we're starved of physical non-sexual intimacy. So then we think we have to get it from sexual intimacy and sexual, physical, romantic relationship. But if we were fulfilled with the non-sexual physical stuff, we wouldn't jump into the wrong relationships half as often. So how to dis develop a stronger sense of self? Basically speaking, raise your vibration to everything I'm saying. Be happy, be joyful, be balanced, self-care, self-nurture. Along with the study and reflection of your life, putting up boundaries, saying no, knowing your entitlements and your rights, such as your opinion, your wishes and your wants and your true heart's desires. When you start living your passion, your purpose, your joy, your interests, your hobbies, when you start to do all of these things holistically, as well as looking after your body, having water therapy, showering, swimming in the sea, the lake, the ocean, having a bath, singing, humming, dancing, um, whistling, listening to uplifting music and uplifting media sources such as YouTube, empowering videos, definitely cultivate a strong friendship community around you of loving, empowered, conscious, kind, generous, caring, supportive, um, understanding um, friends who are fun and playful also if, as much as possible to, to uplift our spirits and to listen to us when we're going through challenges and they give us suggestions and support and advice when we're going through hardships and going through healing bouts because at the end of the day one of the ways to become stronger is to cry and that's letting out the pain from the past so another thing I want to say in this video <laughs> Another thing I want to say is the importance of don't stop yourself from letting out pain such as crying, even if you're in public. That's one of the things I've been doing lately. I've been allowing myself to cry in public, like not like bawling crying because it hasn't needed to happen, but just tears. Like if I feel like swelling up a tear, let it happen. I don't want to, I don't want to delay it any longer because the sooner I let it to pain, it's like the flow. The sooner it goes away and the sooner I start feeling better again. The faster I let it to pain, the faster I'm healed. So it's very important to do that. When you do a combination of all this stuff, and when you study your relationships with your parents, friends, family and associates, when you get to know yourself more, it's all going to fall into place enormously, so much better. You're going to feel so much better, everybody. You're going to feel the relief, the relief of people's, ple of people's pleasing vanished. You're going to feel the wellness of starting to listen to your own inner voice, your inner heart, and following the calling of that direction that's coming from within you, your higher self. So letting go of the fear, letting go of the blocks, allowing yourself to receive love, everybody, and to give love. Live fiercely because this all ends. This all ends. So like live fiercely. 
love fiercely, laugh fiercely, cry fiercely, love fiercely, because this all ends everyone, we're going to fucking be dead in another like 70, 80, 60, 20 years, whatever, we don't know what we've got left. So like life's too short, just like let loose everyone, that's what I want to say, like let loose, stop bloody living in fear and limiting beliefs, I can't do this, they won't love me, I'm not good enough. It's okay if we think these thoughts, but just don't like think it a hundred times a day or even fucking ten times a day. Try and love and forgive and let go of people who've hurt you. Let go of hopes, let go of too attached hope, let go of attachments, expectations. Unless you're expecting kick-ass stuff to happen, but just don't allow whatever to happen will happen. Sometimes we expect great things to happen, you know, love and romance, and it doesn't happen, eh? Some sometimes we expect that like I was playing with this today. What if we expect like things not to work out? <laughs> then they're probably they could work out. It's like the opposite of expecting and hoping. Oh, I'm gonna fall in love. I'm gonna live happily ever after. This is gonna be a great job. I expect it to be. This trip is gonna be brilliant. And it isn't. So what if we expect the opposite? Then it can turn out to be positive. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, God. There's a lot of pain and hurt in the world, everyone. I know that. There's a lot of pain and hurt. We all have pains and hurts growing up with this traumatized planet. Called Earth. As we heal, we will be the example, the role model for other people. We also have to let go of our, like for me in my life, I've had to let go of clinginess, neediness, and codependency, which it's all codependency basically. Like, I've clung. I've been needy and clinging to people in the past because of my childhood traumas for the first 18, 18 years of my life. I clung to my mom, she was my, my rock and my savior in a very emotionally traumatizing house, very stunting and traumatizing. And I copied it with women, you know, they, they, tried to get other women when I was growing up to do what my mum did and it's unconscious and I just you know I'm healing from this this year has been an incredible year of healing for me I guess I'm still healing you know of course I am but I've done a big chunk of it this year thank god this has been a hard year for me but it's been the best year of my life it's been the hardest year of my, my adult life for the last my conscious adult life for the last 11 years since I was 24 and now I'm 35 it's been the, the hardest, most challenging year, the most crying in it, uh, the most stress ever in my life, um, as an adult anyway. Mm, it's been tough. But luckily the universe gave me the friends and supporters that I needed at the right time, the right way. It's been a magical year. It's been the year of most synchronicities. It's been the year of fastest change and fastest flow. Things have just been bang, 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 bang. The unexpected has been coming to me out of the blue over and over again. I've had so many messages from the universe and synchronicities, it's unbelievable. I've just been following them, I've been living fearlessly with adventurous abandonment to my comfort zone and having a stability, you know, because life changes, there's no true stability. When we become attached, you can't become attached to instability, it doesn't work that way, you're just going to suffer. So allow change, allow yourself to change, allow people to change. Don't get too attached to your hope and dreams because the universe delivers and takes away from you in unexpected ways. So everyone, I hope this video helped. May, I hope this video helped if you're watching. Everyone, love you all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming into my life, everybody. Love you, everybody. Thanks for all of your love and light to me. Thanks for understanding me and appreciating me. Thanks for caring for me. Thanks for your honesty, integrity and sincerity. Thanks for your love, appreciation, acknowledgement, recognition and seeing me and other people. Thanks for trying your best. Thanks for your sincerity of heart. Thanks for your honesty and integrity and love and kindness and compassion and support and understanding to me thank you and to other people thank you for investing yourself the time to watch this video and to share this time with me and this energy that we've shared together thanks for trusting me i trust you i believe in you i know you're going to be okay you're going to do really good in life i trust with all my heart
that's just like bringing a little water to my eye, tear. <sighs> Never let the flow of energy stop within you, everybody. And that means love or means crying. It means whatever is bursting within you energetically, allow it to go, allow it to flow, allow it out, express it. Let go of fearless, appropriate abandonment and live and love and laugh and just be true to yourself. Life is too short. All I want to do at the end of the day is love as much as I can. To live as truly to myself as much as I can. And to love and have fun and laughter. And to share beautiful energies with people from the heart, from my soul, from the spirit, from my depth. <sighs> Lots of love, everyone. I'll see you again in another video and befriend me on Facebook, that's my social media. You can befriend me on Instagram actually, I, I joined lately. Um, I'm just new, but I love to connect more when anyone is called to connect more with me. And check out my links below. And of course, subscribe for more videos like this and other stuff on Body, Mind, Spirit, if you haven't already. And I'll see you again. Have a lovely day and thanks again for everything, all your lovely energy and time. <laughs> support. <laughs> Bye. Mm, love you. Stay blessed. You're so gorgeous and beautiful. We're all just fucking gorgeous. We're all so beautiful. We're all so unique. Just live your truth. Never copy anybody. Thanks.